touch back, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Bears' offense now coming out. They come out in the dime package. Matt Forte gets it here. And he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Coming up, second down. Matt Forte. It's about nine on the play. The Bears would love to run the ball like they have so far. Forte's taking the ball, and he's leading this team on the field right now. Boy, he sure is. And I give him a lot of credit, but I also say this. The offensive line, anytime you see a running game go this well, you got to give a lot of credit to the old line. It's Bennett. That'll stop the play right there. The Bears call a timeout and are left now with only one. Second down coming up. The Bears come to the line with an empty backfield. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. And Morgan's got the catch and the first. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. He'll take the snap from the gun. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Boy, it must be hard just to knock the football down. That time he's in good position because you know the defender wanted to go for the interception, but he played it smart and knocked it down instead. Almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Two tight ends on the field here. The handoff to Matt Forte. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. They're going to go for it here on fourth and seven. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. The Bears will take the snap from the 45. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. The Raiders are down right now, but they're running the ball at will. Forte's been really effective in the first half, Phil. Yeah, the game is tied, and I'll tell you why it's tied. You said it right. The running game is absolutely kicking it, right, kicking it out there, and they're taking names, if you know what I'm saying. And this running back, one of the best in the NFL. Unstoppable. The 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? Makes the PAT. The Bears about to receive the kick after this game was just tied before halftime. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Bears bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Forte's in the backfield, single back set. Wilson's got it, first down. The Bears call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. First down here after the completion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Looking long. That's the end of the first half, and we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Murray's going to take a knee, so this will come out to the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. All right, here we go. 
Oh, Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. And that'll be a gain of about two. Got to stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big gains yet, there's a little short gain that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. The Raiders from the 22 will go ground. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. And he's brought to the ground. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time, the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. Offense lines up here. First down at the 18. Back that time, in on the tackle. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can pull it with the run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. Cortez lined up directly behind the quarterback here. And that's a gain of 10. You see the matchup at running back, and while only one side has really been able to count on that run game, it's still a very close game. Yeah, it is, Jim. Close game here, and also that can happen when you talk about run games. They're going to go up and down. And if you're having trouble running the football, then change the direction of your offense. Do something else. It's a touchdown. Touchdown out there. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Bears ready to kick the football. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. The Raiders come out for the next possession. Jones Drew lined up in the backfield. Right, here we go. Red 18. Red 18. First down at the 20. Jones Drew's hand at the football. Tackled just three yards short of the first. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Here's the handoff to Darren McFadden. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. You know, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Taken down at the 33. The Raiders are down on the scoreboard, and this running game is a big reason why. McFadden's been shut down from his very first carry on. No balance by this offense, like you said today. They can't run the football, but I've said this all the time. It's not always about just dominating physically and blocking up front. Running backs have to do their part. They have to make good decisions, and they got to break some tackles. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. The defense comes out of the dime. Cars back in shotgun formation. Makes the catch. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. The Raiders are set to punt. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Bears are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Double tight end formation. Now first and ten. Has his man in on the stop. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Second down and nine. The give. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The Bears have clearly enjoyed being able to take the air out of the football when needed today. Forte's been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. 
Well, it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed a pass, but it still did not get a first down. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. Second down and seven. Catch made. Good piece of tackling. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Cortez lined up as the single back. They'll run it here. Brought down after a gain of six. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. Second and four following the run. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. They'll run it with him again. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. And they're going to call the timeout here to stop the clock. First and ten. Staying with the ground. Forte tackled down. That's a timeout call. Second down now. Gives it to him again. And gains maybe four. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Morgan's lined up now as a slot receiver. They feed it to him one more time. Not managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. You got to run it. made first down here first down pressure on every snap now drop back shotgun formation and Jared Allen is in on the sack second down late in the fourth quarter they'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs and now the spike I agree with spiking the football here, Jim. You spike it, uh, you stop the clock, and it gives you time to have a little breather to think of the situation and call a good play in the huddle. Cars standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Looking to go deep. And Jennings should have intercepted that one. Almost had it. Well, you're down. And here you are in the first half of the game. If it was fourth and short, I could see the coach trying to switch things around. If he, he might go for it. But we have fourth and long. Put that football down there. Don't make a decision that puts your team in a hole that they can't get out of. That will be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. This team called on its defense to win the game, and they probably have done it right there. Turning it over on down. You know, on the defense, we don't say this often, but you got to stay composed. You got to be smart and aggressive. And they showed all those components that time. That leads us to second down. Offense lines up here. Takes the knee. Before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.